What's going on everyone? It's your boy Dungeon coming at you with another Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark Tips and Tactics video. And in this one, I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth look at the Ranger class. So, if you want to steal from the rich and give to the poor, you've come to the right place. Let's get right on into it. So before we get into the details, I wanted to showcase a few of the Ranger abilities. And the first one I want to showcase is the Rooting Shot ability. And this one, when successful, it will basically immobilize units. So unless the unit has some sort of ranged ability, it basically shuts them down. So you can kind of like let them be, come back to them in a few rounds, and focus your energy on someone else. Next one I got for you guys is Rain of Arrows. And this one is a line attack. You can use it with the bow, melee, doesn't matter, the same effect, and you could potentially get several different enemies in one shot if you line it up proper, but early on, good AoE spell or a, a skill that you can use. Next one is uh, the multi-shot. This one is so good, absolutely amazing, because it can affect, just like a spell effect with the cross pattern, it is very, very, very effective. And last one that I got for you guys is the sniper shot this one does so much damage when you get it and you have enough magic points to use it it is going to wreck your enemies all right let's get into the highlights and details all right so let's go ahead and get on to the details of the ranger now when you first unlock the ranger you actually get this super cool ability it's rooting shot it'll use the range of your weapon so whatever kind of weapon you use so if you're using a melee weapon you can still use this ability so uh, typically though with a bow it's going to be most effective because you can go and attack someone five six or seven if you're using a gun or something like that squares away and then you can root them in place meaning they can't move very very good very early on um, and it's effective um, pretty much even through to the late game it can be very effective balm is a um, a spell not a spell I'm sorry a skill that uh, will pretty much act like uh, panacea 2 except for um, I think there's a couple uh, debuffs that it doesn't remove but this one removes a lot a lot it's got a it's only got a range of a one it's got a vertical of six, uh, four, but it's only cost six magic points. So, being that this is a like an attack, uh, an attack statistic based uh, uh, class, it's really really cool, really cool. And now, I will say that my first playthrough, I definitely um, didn't realize the significance of this ability, Scout. And this one is actually really really cool because. You can use it at any time, basically. You can use it at any time, and it's always going to give your character experience points for using it. What's more is that you can increase your critical hit um, chance. So that's, like, really, really good. When you critical hit, you'll do a lot more damage. And then to top it all off, the main whole point for this is that it'll reveal traps. Now, early game, it's not very effective, but when you're playing in matches or battles against enemy units that can set traps or at least have had set traps earlier like there's a few battles in the game that have traps like strewn across the map and this is one of those abilities in that situation that's just invaluable absolutely top-notch ability make sure you get it matter of fact all three of these first ones I would probably get them as soon as you can um, and then collect pelt which is super cool because it'll allow you to uh, reap rare components when you uh, kill an enemy using this ability so super duper cool and to you know make it even sweeter to sweeten the deal a little bit more if an enemy has rebirth on it it'll just straight out kill them anyways so really good um, really 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 good although I will say that it's mainly for killing monsters not for humans if you want a human version of this that's collect bounty and that's an assassin ability all right now these two right here, you saw in the opener, um, Rain of Arrows, really cool AOE spell. It doesn't have a very long uh, range, but uh, 
you know, definitely, definitely worth getting. As soon as you can get it, I would definitely get it. This one, hands down, better than the one, probably the best one in this whole bunch, honestly, um, because it allows you to have this, like, AoE effect, uh, attack, rather. So it's almost like a spell, but then you're, like, not a spellcaster. You're this, like, range, um, you know, attack type character so this is like super cool and you can use it with melee weapons too it'll basically uh affect four squares two squares in front of you and then one to either side of that first square in front of you so really 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 cool definitely get this as soon as you can matter of fact my suggestion would be to get these four then get rain of arrows and multi-shot um optionally you can get no weaknesses instead of rain of arrows i will say that i don't use it tons i don't use it super often but um, it is nice to have, especially if you don't have multi-shot. Okay, um, and then no weakness. This one works really good in tandem with the uh, the expert uh, 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 passive from the um, scoundrel uh, abilities, and because that one will increase your critical hit damage by 50%, and this one increases your critical hit by 25%. And if you unlock the Bounty Hunter um, class, it's an actual, it's an actual special character, um, they have no weaknesses too or something like that. And you can potentially combine like a whole bunch of these together and then use like scout, you know, ability. And then you could just like straight up, you know, use guns and then have dual wield and then just like each attack, you're, you're critical hitting and you're doing, you know extra tons of extra damage so it's just super duper insane especially if you're using guns because they have massive range so it's it's pretty broken honestly that combination is pretty broken um and then you have evasion up which is pretty cool because um you know it'll help you to avoid being hit which which is kind of cool it's actually really really cool um counter shot it's kind of like counter attack except for it uses ranged attacks and um and it and it triggers off of when an enemy attacks you with a range attack or a ranged skill so it's pretty good it, it can be very effective for those of you who are playing ranged characters that do not get into melee all right um, and then this one look I'll be honest with you guys it's super cool uh, you saw it it's it's got this massive damage multiplier but it's got it's this the magic point cost is so high if you can if you can actually work your character out to be able to get magic points faster this can be amazing um the only downside is that you know it's it's got that high cost and typically by the time you can use it like the battle's pretty much already over either you're you know about to win or you're about to lose so um it's typically not super duper effective, honestly, because of the uh, magic point range. Or, I'm sorry, the magic point cost. But um, but if you can if you can work something out, man, this thing is so good. It's so good. It's so good. And there's actually a number of abilities and and um, things that you can do to potentially get that magic point. Uh, get a little closer to that earlier in the in the battle. That magic point cost. So. And that's pretty much, that wraps up the uh, the ability portion of the Ranger. Let's go ahead and move on to the, um, the leveling stats. So as you can see, it's got pretty decent leveling stats uh, available for this class. Um, you know, it's okay for, for hit points and uh, the attack is alright. The uh, other... Uh, defensive uh, statistics and speed and all that it's all well and good um, the cool thing that I do I will say about this is that um, it allows for the axe which is a melee weapon and then bow or crossbow which is actually really really cool and obviously we've talked about the passives and stuff and the mastery bonus is pretty cool as well so all in all um, especially when you consider movement and jump it's uh, it's it's a pretty decent class to be playing. Honestly, uh, I put this at number one for the early uh, game top five classes. So this is definitely a good class to pick up and play. It's got a nice uh, 
It's got a nice set of skills and abilities and stuff like that. And like I said, decent growth. It's not like the best or anything, but decent growth rate per leveling. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. All right, you guys, that concludes this episode of Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark Tips and Tactics video, where I showed you an in-depth look at the Ranger class. If you had fun, if you learned something, if you enjoy watching this, hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so you don't miss another video, and as always, thanks, stay cool, and bye, everyone.